So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And my favorite thing about the movie is that it feels like a, like a movie. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's that's great. It feels like a real, like, you know, go to the theater film movie. All right, uh, okay. You know, you kind of the reason you go watch something on the big screen? Sure, sure, yeah, okay, good. So, you know, hopefully that's how people describe this. Yeah, I mean, that's the basic description of what we're looking for, I guess. So what happens in this thing? Right, so this takes place in this 1950s looking town called Victory, right? And we're gonna follow this housewife named Alice. Okay. And all these housewives have husbands that take off to work every day on something called the Victory Project, run by this guy, Frank. But everything is not as it seems. Whoa, 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 whoa. you sure about that? Because usually everything is as it seems. That's how everything usually is. Yeah, see, no, not in this case, not everything is as it seems. I... Oh my god. Yeah, it's about to get real mysterious in here, sir. Like once in a while there's these big earthquakes that make everything shake. Uh, that is very mysterious. I guess we'll find out what those are about later, huh? Uh, no. Oh, but so then Alice starts seeing and experiencing a bunch of weird stuff. What kind of stuff we talking? Well, like she goes out into this desert that the housewives aren't allowed to go into and she touches a building and wakes up back home. Oh, very strange. And she sees this weird plane crash and a window closes in on her. Jeez, what's going on with all that? Don't worry about it. And this other housewife's being forced to take medication because she keeps saying nothing is real. What is the what, what is the medication do? Don't worry about that either. I want to know. I'm a little worried about it. Well, stop it. And then Alice ran randomly wraps her own head in plastic wrap and that other housewife seemingly dies, but not really. Okay, yeah, you know, sure, that's a lot of weird stuff. And so I guess Alice is gonna start to piece together what this is all about as the weird things happen. Not really, no, just kind of a string of weird occurrences for about 90 minutes or so with little to no explanation or information revealed. Oh, oh, okay. And then suddenly a bunch of information's gonna drop with like a third of the movie left. Oh, okay, great, so what do we find out? Well, sir, it turns out the whole town is a freaking simulation. Yeah, it's like the Matrix. Exactly, except with like 10,000 times less kung fu. So still a little kung fu? No, you know what? No kung fu at all, actually. But I did think we could have a five-minute scene of Harry Styles dancing like a puppet. Oh, well, that's just as good. Okay, yes, yeah, sweet. So we're gonna find out that Alice's husband, Jack, in the real world is unemployed, and he's been kind of radicalized by that guy, Frank. Oh, he has? Yeah, through like podcasts and internet forums, he's been made to hate being a loser while his wife earns money, and he wants that that traditional life of, you know, the wife stays at home and cooks and cleans. Uh-oh. So he's got Alice, like, permanently strapped to their bed with these simulation goggles on her face, so she, like, lives in the simulation now. Permanently? Do people in the real world not wonder where she went? I... No. No, they don't, I guess. So she didn't have, like, an important job or anything. Uh, you know, not really. She's, uh... She's a surgeon. That's, uh, people would notice her missing, I'm pretty sure. Hey, shut up. And so during the day, her husband Jack and all the other husbands leave into the real world to earn money to be able to pay for this whole thing. Wait, so Jack's not unemployed anymore? Yeah, sure, okay. What's his job? Unclear, don't worry about it. So he, like, puts drops in Alice's eyes because they're pried open all the time because of these simulation goggles. So when he's out in the real world every day, does he also have to, like, change her diapers and exercise her legs so she doesn't get muscular atrophy and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah, no, I guess he'd have to do all that stuff too, wouldn't he? How is this better than the life he was living? That's, yeah, I don't really know about that, but this is what's happening, so I'm gonna need you to get all the way off my back about it. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. So anyway, the bad guys do like electroshock therapy on Alice, which shows her all these revelations, but then also makes him forget them immediately. So her memory gets wiped. Man, it's gonna be hard for her to piece it all back together and escape. Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, she just kind of remembers it all anyway, right away. Oh, so what was the point of doing the electroshock? I don't know. And so then she kills her husband in self-defense. Oh, my God. And then her neighbor shows up like, hey, guess what? If men die in here, they die out in the real world. So you've got to escape now. Men die, but not women. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And the neighbor is also like, by the way, I knew this was a simulation the whole time, but it's the only way for me to be with my kids who died in the real world. So I'm like, I've been on board. Oh, so she's in there loving her kids. That's 
that's kind of sweet and tragic. Actually, your character spends the whole movie drinking excessively and complaining about motherhood. Oh. And then Frank, you know, the guy who organized this whole place, his wife is gonna stab and kill him. Well, why does she do that? Well, she's like, it's my turn now. What does that mean, though? It means the movie's almost over and we gotta get rid of Frank somehow. I guess that makes sense. So then Alice is driving away in the desert, but there are two cars chasing her and one coming at her head first. Uh-oh, car chase. Yeah, and so she kind of breaks and swerves and all three cars crash into each other. Oh, this is a cartoon. I thought it was live action for some reason. No, it's not a cartoon. Oh, cartoon car chases are tight. Does the Roadrunner show up? It doesn't. No, it's a very serious scene. No, it's not. No, there's no way. No, uh, no, it is though. So then Alice manages to get to this portal and escape the simulation. If it's all a simulation, wouldn't there be some safeguards to prevent wives from escaping like a passcode or literal guards? Ah, no. Oh, okay. And so I guess now we're going to get some answers to all that weird stuff that was happening. Ah, no. What? No, we're the, the movie's all done now. We're going to show the title and it's it's done. But what was all that stuff that took up most of the movie? Stuff. And what happens now? Doesn't she just wake up strapped to a bed next to her dead husband's body? Yeah, you know, probably, but we're all done now. I just feel like I still have so many questions. Well, that's a good thing, wouldn't you say? Now people have something to talk about online. Oh, you think people are going to talk about the various unanswered questions of this movie on the internet? Oh, heck yes, sir. That's going to be the main thing they talk about online in regards to this movie. Well, great. Hi everybody, Ryan here, and guess what? The little screenwriter guy U2's figurine is live now and available to pre-order on U2's.com. So if you just click that link in the description or head over to U2's.com, you can pre-order one. And then what'll happen after that is that you'll get one in the mail when they ship in January. And then what'll happen is that you'll have it. Or if you give it to someone else, then they or that, that person will have it. And that's how things work. I hope you get one and you enjoy it. Bye.